right, folks, it's hot. It's July 18th, 2013, and uh, we're back. Uh, this is our first, first one of the official summer this year, maybe possibly the only of the summer. This is our third year in a row, summer, yeah. Uh, if you watched the update video, I don't know if you had a chance yeah, to check did. it out. Huge Blue Fanatics, as of what you already saw in the update video, as of June 30th, yeah. is two. <laughs> so we've been enjoying it like just a summer bitch, haven't we? Yeah. All right, enough bullshit. <laughs> On to the review, which is World War Z. Is Z zombie? Is that stand for zombie? I don't know what Z guess. stands for. Yeah, I would have guessed it's zombie apocalypse or something. World War Zombie. Yep, World War Z. Um, did you want to start the review, or should I like handle it? Or you can it? handle it. All right. Um, so I saw World War Z, and I, the previews kind of looked, you know, iffy. Might be some wind today. We apologize. We have no budget. You can <laughs> yeah. probably hear us. Yeah, it'll be good. Continue. Um, the previews looked kind of all right, but I wanted to see it because I've heard so many great things about this book, which I still haven't read. I, oh, I now own it. There is a book, and it's supposed to be one of the greatest books like around from the past decade. And uh, I've heard that from multiple people, people who, who don't even like zombie books. And so it was like, oh, cool. So this is, uh, I'll just see the movie, because why not? Yeah. Um, and from what I hear from the people who have read the books, the movie's really disappointing because it doesn't cover almost anything that the book does. The book is sort of like a, chron a chronological journal, from what I understand of what happened, the zombie steps, it doesn't follow any specific character as far as my understanding goes. Uh -huh. So it was interesting to have the movie follow just one person, and then supposedly the uh, movie only is like one small section of the book. So like that, the like, boring part. Yeah, so, <laughs> so you could do like multiple story, like they you could create a franchise and follow a different <laughs> yeah, right. actor or whatever. I hear you there. Yeah. Um, essentially, that's my understanding. <laughs> uh, anyway, so as to the movie itself, uh, yeah, I don't know, it was kind of cool. They did some interesting things with the zombies that I hadn't really seen before. They toned down the blood and gore, which I was appreciative of, because a lot of the oh, you were. zombie movies of late are all just like super gory, super like in your face. Pretty much everything from Dawn of the Dead, 70, what was it, 78, onwards is just like about the gore aspect. and. I'm not blown away by that with zombies, because essentially it's just watching people eat each other, and that's not necessarily my thing. Um, but, uh, so I liked that the, these were just more like rabid dogs. Uh, but, I, I still, I'm a traditionalist, I don't like the fast-moving zombies. They did interesting things, though. I liked how they were crawling on top of each other, like ants and stuff. That was really kind of creepy. The movie built suspense pretty well. I thought it had uh, some nice, suspenseful, tense scenes, but um, I wasn't overly blown away by pretty much anything, um, uh, especially like the ending. I thought they were going to go really, spoiler alert, really cool, dark uh, twist when they're like, a terminal illness is the only way to, get, uh, to stop the disease. Sounds cool. And I was like, that's kind of interesting. Wow, you're gonna. So it's like you choose to either die this way or this way. <laughs> yeah. But then they it's inject themselves. Brilliant. Yeah, and I was. And then they inject themselves with a curable terminal illness, and I was like, well, Yeah, how is it terminal if it's curable? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think it was just the wording of it that bothered me. But anyway, like that was my bi uh, my biggest problem. The movie sort of fell apart in the last twenty minutes. Uh, though I like the chattering zombie. I don't remember. He, there's a teeth. Chattering zombie that was right outside of the, the window. Oh, that one at yeah. the end? Yeah, I, yeah, I guess I know. He was kind of cool. Um, but so I'll give the movie like a very light three stars. Uh, I mean, it was it was what it was. It was pretty good. I would have liked more, but I mean, the zombie genre, they've sort of stretched it beyond its limits by this point. Yeah. It, it, it's hard to come up with anything kind of creative, and this had some moments of creativity. So I'll, uh, I, I'm giving it a three. I wouldn't have saw this, except for it was a double feature. We had a drive-in I saw, I went to a drive-in. I went to this particular drive-in for the first time since, in probably at least five years. And uh, just a quick side note, I couldn't believe, since the last time I've been to a drive-in, do you know people sit now, or at least they did the night I was there, in their cars, a lot of them, some of them, I mean not a lot of them, but some of them, with the windows rolled up, their, their motors running and the AC on. For, for two movies. Talk about, I was, I was, and this is more than one person, 
It's like a car in the back, a car over here you can hear. Talk, is that pathetic? It's like going to a picnic and bringing a big box and an air-conditioned tent or something. And I don't want to be outside. I couldn't believe it, man. So uh, maybe drive-ins nowadays, there goes my list. Uh, shit. <laughs> Pause. I will. <laughs> and resume. <laughs> Okay, I got the list back. So uh, yeah, I was so maybe drive-ins nowadays with these kind of people around aren't uh, aren't all that great. Maybe these people ruin them. I'm surprised the drive. I'll, I'll start the review soon. I'm surprised the drive-in even allow people to do it. Because let's face it, if you have normal people with the windows down, I mean, talk about carbon monoxide time, right? Yeah. So anyway, there's a little. That, I was really disappointed in these people. I almost wanted to just you know what. So whatever. Anyway, on to the movie. I, so the only reason I saw it was it was a double feature with I wanted to see Man of Steel, so I saw both, you know, for the price of one or whatever. So there you go. So it was the first one I watched. Oh man, sorry about the wind. I mean, you probably get the gist of the review, you know. Wind's good for your health and steady, steady diet of wind, you know. So uh, I, I, the, the worst movie I'd seen in the theater that I can remember, which is probably a zero, maybe a one star movie, which we've never had a chance to review. Have you seen it yet? Cowboys and Aliens? Yeah, it's still is like one of the worst A movies I've seen in the past that I can remember until I saw World War Z, which for me was the first, the only, I think probably the only uh, non-found footage movie that I've ever reviewed on here, which gets a zero. To me, for me, it was just completely win, sorry, love you. Uh, for me, it was completely uninteresting. I don't know if it was my mood because of the people in their ACs running, probably not. The movie was just, the thing you, you become, the more you, movies you see and the older you get, you, you quickly tend to realize that, god damn, it's like, you know, every movie, especially, well, I mean, this might be more blockbuster -y because they, some are blockbuster because they always try to stay with the formula, but it's just like, yeah, you know, you, you kind of get the sense that you've seen it before because you have, you're really just seeing movies over and over and over. And the thing I don't like about a lot of movies now is this kind of, almost like a tone, a tone, like a, a tone, an overtone, like a, just an overall depressive PG-13, like, uh, danger tone to the movie, like, you know, when they're starting, to, right at the beginning, when they start driving out of the city and the, whatever comes careening past them and blows up or takes, or no, oh, the thing, the guy takes out his review mirror and yeah. something happens, just this, it's almost like it's a, it's almost like a package that you buy at a store, like a package of, uh, this, this particular, you know, PG-13 zombie movie tone F, you know, it's like a, it's a textbook Hollywood summer blockbuster tone, you know, for me none of the characters were interesting at all, it, you know, I'm, I'm with you, I mean, I liked zombie movies when I was in high school, that was way before uh, Dawn of the Dead, before they were running and stuff, you know, I was, I was watching Dawn of the Dead, Night Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead 78, Night Living Dead and stuff when I was in high school, and I was digging the Romero zombies but you know personally you know if you like zombies that's totally fine but personally I'm like beyond zombies I guess is what I'm trying to say anyway yeah, I, I wasn't even sure necessarily that it was even zombies before when I went to see it I didn't know what it was so let's just cut this short I mean there was really nothing that interested me about it I was just like this uh, zero stars it was just uninteresting to me and, and I, I gotta disagree I mean about the PG-13 zombie I think it's almost like What's the point of doing a PG-13 zombie movie if you know if you can't do gore? Not that you know. I don't know. A lot of zombie people probably like the gore. So to, to not do gore, I kind of get what you're saying too. It might have been, you know. I, I imagine they're going to come out unrated or something. I would think on on, on video. I would think. It doesn't, I have no doesn't, idea. doesn't matter. We you know we don't care anyway. But uh, <clears throat> I don't know. A zombie movie uh, PG-13 kind of took away because I was like, well, God, maybe if there was some gore at least. Because there was at one part at the very end where he's like, I think he takes a crowbar and like zombies. Well, you don't know because you don't see it, but head or stomach or something. And there's another one. He's got him on the ground. There's another one coming at him. And because it's PG-13, he's like, <clears throat> you just see him pulling up at it. You don't know what he's doing. He's either, he's either mopping or trying to pull a crowbar out of a zombie that he just killed. Yeah. You can't really tell until like, yeah. it cut, cuts back to him the third time, like, oh, I bet he's trying to pull the crowbar out of the other zombie. Yeah. And then he's like, clink. I'm sorry, this is this is, this is is historic on a huge movie from the next. This is the first, uh, first non-found footage movie that I give zero. World War Z for me was 
completely uninteresting, and if you're done, I think maybe we'll cut it there and move it along. I just want to say one thing. The, the part that I liked the best was the first 20 minutes or so, when the, uh, he was with his family and then was sort of trying to hide out in the building and stuff, and he met the Spanish family who sort of took him in, and then they separated. Like That stuff was good once they separated and it became a military movie and they went to That's another all thing. the different places. You know what? I'm so sick I, of I stopped I'm caring. so sick of seeing military movies, by the way, and, and showing them as like, oh, helpful, see, we're actually helpful. <laughs> I don't know if the word terrorist came up in this movie or not, but I don't really like, as you know, I don't yeah. like hearing that word in movies, it's all just bullshit, but uh, I don't really remember it, but I might I might have to concur with that. It, it, it did seem to, for me, just deteriorate as it, as it went on. It was just like, for me, it was roll your eyes. Yeah. And I'm done. <laughs> so am I. Thank you very much for watching our World War Z review. Catch you tomorrow with uh, probably Man of Steel. Man of Steel. Man of Steel coming up next tomorrow. Or maybe you can watch it right now if it's already up. Thanks for watching.